Hello, in this video we'll do a quick demonstration of IDE redirect, or IDER, using Mesh Commander. So I'm going to click on Remote Desktop of a Connected Machine, and I'm going to go ahead and connect, and you're going to see I'm in the BIOS right now. I'm going to click IDER, and on the standalone Windows version of Mesh Commander, you see this dialog box. You have to select both ISO and IMG files. I'm going to select um, bootable images for, for ISO and um, IMG file, you have to pick something. You can pick an empty file or a zero byte file or something. And if you're not going to use it, typically this is the uh, ISO file is a CD ROM on drive D, IMG file is a floppy on drive A. So I'm going to click OK. You're going to see the remote uh, IDER session has started. You can stop at any time with the upper right button. And then you click on Power Action select uh, reset for example to either CD-ROM, say OK, and this will force the machine to remotely boot onto this either session. So it will take a moment here and you'll see it just start transferring file, uh, transferring bytes over and I'll just go ahead and reconnect and you see the KVM uh, confirms that I'm now reboot, remotely booted onto this, uh, this image. And that's it. So uh, you can do this, or I can stop the IDER and reboot back to, for example, my normal uh, OS, and then so boot back to Windows. So that is a quick view of how to um, basically use IDE redirect to remotely boot a, a recovery OS onto a remote machine. This is great for uh, you know, a whole bunch of uh, reformatting a machine. This is great for recovery OS or uh, booting a trusted antivirus or things like that. So I hope it's useful. Thank you.